going to be doing our drop test from four feet on the back, corner, and face for all three phones. Then we're going to compare them and see how they do. Drop on the back in three, two, one. And here you can see the S4 took minimal damage, just a few scratches on the camera and the corner, and the front's just fine. And here's the iPhone 5, very minimally scratched on the back. Uh, I would say it took a little bit less damage than the S4, but there's definitely some scratches. And here's the S3, you can see the glass over the camera is actually shattered. Uh, other than that, it took very minimal damage. Alright guys, we're dropping it on the corner. And three, two, one. And here you can see the S4 took very minimal damage. The back and the front was fine, but the corner did take some damage. The back also popped off a little bit. We popped that back into place, no problem. Here's the iPhone 5. You can see it took about the same amount of damage, but since it has a unibody design, the back did not pop off. And here's the S3. You can see that it failed pretty miserably. It shattered from the bottom corner all the way to the top corner. Let's go ahead and move on to the face down test. Three, two, one. Here you can see the S4 screen is completely shattered. The screen was very fragmented with uh, shards of glass coming up, though the screen did work still. And here's the iPhone 5. The screen was also shattered very badly, though the screen did function as well. Well guys, as you can see, Gorilla Glass 3 did not protect the S4 from a face down drop. Keep in mind, it did do better than the S3, and it tied with the iPhone 5. But uh, because it failed, we are going to have to destroy this thing, so stay tuned.